how to unbox and set up the HP Smart Tank 580 through 590 and 5100 printer series. Step 1. Remove the printer from the box. Open the box and then remove the smaller box containing the power cord, ink bottles, and print heads. While grasping the handles in the plastic bag, remove the printer from the box and place it on a level surface where you intend to use it. Remove the foam end caps. Peel back the blue tape and remove the setup guide from the plastic bag. The setup guide has detailed setup steps and information for contacting HP support. Remove the printer from the plastic bag. Remove the blue tape from the back of the printer. Then, remove the tape from the output tray extender. Remove the remaining tape and attached cardboard insert in the output tray area. Open the front door. Remove the tape and packing material from the ink access area. Open the scanner lid. Remove the protective film from the scanner glass. Close the scanner lid and front door. Next, open the smaller box containing the printer supplies. Remove the ink bottles, power cable, USB cable depending on your country or region, and print heads. Connect the power cord to the rear of the printer and then plug the other end of the power cord into an electrical outlet. Press the power button to turn the printer on. Wait until the printer is on and the Wi-Fi light blinks. Step 2. Install the printer software. You can now install the HP Smart Printing app. The HP Smart app is required and helps connect your device to your printer. It also guides you through the rest of the setup process. On a computer or mobile device, visit 123.hp.com to download the HP Smart app. Type the product name into the search box, click Next, then click Install HP Smart. After installation, open the HP Smart app and continue with the setup. If prompted, create or sign in to an HP account. Click Add a new printer or click the plus sign to find your printer. Follow the prompts in HP Smart to connect the printer to your network. After the printer has been connected, follow the on-screen animations to prepare your printer for use. Step 3. Fill the ink tanks. Be aware of the following when working with ink bottles. Keep the ink bottles beyond the reach of children. Open the ink bottle only when you are filling the ink tanks. Store the ink bottles upright in a cool, dry place. Caution: To avoid possible printhead damage, do not install the printheads until you have filled the ink tanks. Open the front door. Open the cap of the ink tank you want to fill. Twist open the ink bottle and set the lid aside. Match the color of the ink bottle with the color of the ink tank. Hold the bottle on the tank nozzle, making sure the tip of the bottle fits properly over the nozzle and let the ink drain into the tank until the tank is full. If the bottle does not start draining, remove it and then reinsert it onto the tank. Do not squeeze the bottle. Do not overfill the black ink tank. The black bottle will have some ink left. After the ink tank is filled, set the bottle upright and then close the ink bottle lid. Close the ink tank cap. Repeat the previous steps to fill the other ink tanks. Note, all four ink tanks must be filled. The printer will not work if you fill only one tank. After the tanks have been filled, store bottles with leftover ink upright in a cool, dry place. Close the front door, then wait approximately 15 seconds for the printer to detect ink. Step 4. Install the printheads. Open the front door and then wait until the carriage moves to the center and stops. If the carriage does not move to the center, close the front door for 15 seconds and reopen. 
Remove the orange tape from the printhead cover. Press and release the blue latch to open the printhead cover. Remove and discard the orange guard. Keep the guard upright to avoid ink leaks. Remove the printheads from the packaging. Pull the plug straight up from the top of the printheads. Remove the tape from the printhead contacts using the pull tabs. Caution, do not touch the copper-colored contacts or the ink nozzle. Do not replace the protective tape on the contact. Handling these parts can result in clogs, ink failure, and bad electrical connections. Slide the black printhead into its slot and then gently push at a slight upward angle until it snaps into place. Repeat to install the tricolor printhead. Close the printhead cover. Close the front door. Step 5. Load paper and align the printheads. Raise the input tray. Slide the paper width guide to the left. Make note of the markings on the input tray. These markings indicate where to place different paper sizes. Load a stack of plain white paper into the input tray. Slide the paper width guide to the right until it touches the paper. Open the output tray extender. After a minute, an alignment page automatically prints. When the open lid light blinks, open the scanner lid and place the printed page face down. Close the scanner lid. Press the blinking copy button to scan the page. On the printer display, an A blinks during the scan and disappears when the printhead alignment is complete. Your printer is now set up. Complete the remaining step-by-step -step instructions in HP Smart to complete the software setup and then start printing. Click the Playlists tab in YouTube to find HP videos in other languages. And search our channel to find official HP support videos.